NFL Week 4 recap. The games that I watched were the Redskins versus the Giants, the Bills versus the Texans, uh, the Eagles versus the 49ers, Saints versus Cowboys, and last but not least, that Monday night football game of the Patriots versus the Chiefs. The first game that I watched was the Washington Redskins versus the New York Giants. Kurt Cousins was in for RG3 this week. I was hoping for the Redskins to win because I'm not a fan of the Giants at all. If you are a New York team, I do not like you at all. Not one bit. The day before this game, I saw a great episode of South Park and it was very funny. It was about the controversy around the name Redskins. Eric Cartman ended up using the team's name and Eric Snyder was really mad about it. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you watch it. Eli Manning brought his G-Men to the promised land. Larry Donnell caught three touchdown passes and Kirk Cousins was picked off not once, not twice, but four times. Four times. Those goddamn Giants make me sick. The next game that I watched was the Houston Texans versus the Buffalo Bills. All I can say about that is J.J. Watt. He's an absolute beast. A beast, I say. You see that interception for that 80-yard touchdown? Awesome. What's his name? Oh yeah, DeAndre Hopkins. He made some great catches that day as well. Ryan Fitzpatrick played very well. The defense does most of the work for him. So all he has to do every week is wear a cool beard and not throw interceptions. And he's golden. It was a great game. I enjoyed it thoroughly. The game that I watched next was the Philadelphia Eagles first the San Francisco 49ers. At first I thought the Eagles would win this game, but the 49ers held their ground and won. They made the plays that ultimately mattered. That pass to Frank Gore that Kaepernick threw was crazy. But it worked out awesome and Frankie Boy ran for the touchdown. It was epic. Sorry Eagles, no more perfect season. You nosedived it. The late game between the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys, uh, I don't really remember that much about it. I just know the Cowboys gave a beating to them Saints. And Tony Romo didn't blow it this time. I think the Cowboys will continue to win as long as they hand the ball to Murray. Let's just pray he stays healthy. Can you do that? But it is really interesting to watch the Cowboys lose, I have to admit. Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys, was a giddy schoolboy after this win. In the last game of the week, Monday Night Football, we saw the New England Patriots first the Kansas City Chiefs. I was expecting a great win from the Patriots, but all I got was disappointment, shame, and embarrassment. Tom Brady had no protection, and we couldn't really make any plays. The offensive line was terrible. Or is terrible. Where's Mankins? Oh yeah, we traded his ass. It was just a nightmare. They haven't lost that bad in so long. The Kansas City Chiefs, however, had a terrific game. They dominated and crushed our poor New England souls. I really don't remember any of the other highlights. All I can remember is Geno Smith cursing at the crowd. And he got fined for it. I don't really, it's not a really big deal to me. You can understand, he's frustrated and he's had a rough time. 
he should be cursing at Rex Ryan. So that was my recap for week four of the NFL. What will happen next week? Who will be indicted? Who knows what awaits? But you know what time it is? It's fantasy football time. Yep, it's 1.30 in the morning and I think I deserve some mead. Viking blood mead. I should be in bed. But I've been doing homework and it's time for some mead. Already got some in there, it's good. Party. So yeah, fantasy football time. Thank you, service maiden. You may be excused. This was a good week. I was nervous at first. Because, uh... Monday was my last game, and... I was behind 20 points. But let's start at the beginning. For quarterback, I had Jay Cutler in. Uh, his team may have lost, but he got me 16 points. Which is, it's decent. And... Who else played on Sunday? Uh, uh, Jordy Nelson had a good game, I guess. I didn't see any highlights, but... He usually does a pretty good job and... Gets me a pretty decent amount of points. He got me 27 this week. Which is awesome. Michael Crabtree's on my team, too. Uh, he got, uh, 6.5 points. That's as much as he usually gets, about 6, 7, around there. And Darren Sproles had a good game. Uh, I'm glad he, I put him on my team. Uh, he, d he didn't do get as many points this week, but he had one awesome touchdown run. Touchdown return, I believe. Yeah, it was awesome. He may be a little, but he can run like a son of a bitch. He's fast as hell. And, oh yeah, the Saints game with DeMarco Murray. Oh man, that guy, I'm glad he's on my team. He's like the best guy going for me. Uh... He's like a man possessed. He just runs through people. And gets me so much... So much points every week. So far. He got me, uh... 27.5. As much as Jordy Nelson. And... Not, um... Adam Vinatieri was my kicker. I don't know if I should use him or uh who's my other guy? Steven Hoshakaka from Seattle. Oh yeah, he couldn't play anyway because he was in a bye week, duh. But I had the Texans for defense. I'm glad they picked up on them. Thirteen points. They have had a great game that against the Bills. And J.J. Watt, like I said, he's crazy. My other opponent had played all of his mem all of his team members, or whatever. And he was up at least 20 points. And the only time I could win was the Monday night game. The only two players I had was were uh, Jamal Charles and Rob Gronkowski. Rob Kronkowski. Jamal Charles, thank you. You had an awesome game. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. 30 points. Rob Gronkowski, 10 points. My Patriots may have lost, but... Uh, thank God I won this week. 
That was an epic win. See you next week. This has been my week four recap. Over and out. Mead time. See ya.